time. It's war time. Gather the troops, yeah, it's war time. The most high is gonna have mercy on you, black people. If you return back to him, he's not before me. It's war time. We are blind on this earth, we are blind to the black, yeah, it's war time. It's the same that was in Christ's band. You say that don't matter? It's our job is to watch them to warn our people. Wake up from the lies that you're in. We must return as the Israelites because that's who we are. You are now tuned in to Wartime Radio Show. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Hey, welcome to Wartime Radio. This is Officer Yuanathan. And on my left, Officer Kalaya. And on my right, Officer Aton. And our reader today, Officer Yana Sean. Hey, we're at WPJM 800. Today's topic, the 4th of July. Uh-oh. Yeah, that, that July is spelled L-I-E, right? Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, July. The 4th of July. <laughs> you know, Americans celebrated their independence um, from the British. Mm-hmm. So what did the Negroes celebrate? Look, they, they, I guess they thought they were free too. I don't know. <laughs> Negroes don't know what the hell they celebrate. They, right. they, they want to participate. <laughs> they want to be a part of something so bad. We's free too. We's free in 1776. It's Independence Day. But didn't they just celebrate Juneteenth? Right. Yeah. It was what the eighteen? What it was? Eighteen what? Sixty five. Sixty five. But then July was seventeen. What? Seventy six. So, so, so what was? So it? during there a hundred years. So what difference? You, we so missed was the you boat. free? Was you free in seventeen seventy six? Right. Or was you free in eighteen sixty five? Which one? Yeah. Dang. Right. Negroes don't know. They want. They just want to be a part. They, they're wearing American flags and crap. Hey, we. <laughs> you know, we we find out as a party as a cookout. We going. We celebrate. <laughs> That's what that boiled down to. And the, and the big, biggest question is, where is that in the Bible? Right. Because I remember Christ said something. Who said, you know, we're supposed to be free. Give me, uh, let's start off with John chapter 8, verse 31. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. You know, or even go any further. You are a disciple of Christ if you continue in his word. Meaning if you keep the commandments like he kept the commandments. Then you are a disciple of Christ. Read. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. Uh-huh. And the truth shall make you free. No, forefathers of America. The truth shall make you free. The Declaration of Independence. <laughs> the truth shall make you free. <laughs> It, it, it wasn't. It wasn't Independence Day. The truth <laughs> shall make you free. No, I guess not. I guess it wasn't because they were still a little. 1865. They was getting their independence. I guess. No, still in chains. Still in chains. <laughs> still in Jim Crow's. Man, seventeen, seventeen hundreds. Still in it chains. Was, what's What's crazy is we. Our people are celebrating Independence Day. The fourth of July. On that day, you were still in the cotton field. Exactly. On that day, you were picking cotton. You wasn't free from nothing. So how in the hell we in 2021 talking about Independence Day? Then when you correct them, they say, "Well, you know, it's just a time to get together for the family." We're gonna find out what thus says the Lord about all these feast days that y'all are bringing up about uh, what God says. You, you gonna pull that? I don't no know way. if you got that script. Let's get Amos, Amos mm-hmm. chapter 5, verse 21 real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 21. I hate. Hold I on, just, wait, wait, a, wait a minute. What did God say? I hate. God says he hates. Come on. I hate. I despise your feast days. Your 4th of July, God says what? I despise your feast days. Your Christmas, he what? I despise your feast days. Thanksgiving, he what? I despise your feast days. Because none of these days are in the Bible. Read on. And I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Most I say he don't want to smell that burnt up behind pork you cooking on the grill. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Then you're going to eat the wrong food. Yeah, right. <laughs> he don't want to he, he hear that. Come on. 
Though ye offer me burnt offerings. We doing this, for, we getting together for the Lord. We getting together, we celebrating the family. We, we getting together in the name of the Lord. Come on. And your meat offerings. Uh-huh. I will not accept them. God said he don't accept them. On none of these days that we reverence that are not according to the scriptures. He will not accept them. Read. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Uh-huh. Take, a, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. So the songs that you're singing that you that you think you're uh, 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 reverencing for your freedom, those songs, read. I will not hear the melody of thy vows. God said so he don't want to hear that either. You ain't free, Negro. You're not free until the son of man, this son, the son of God come and frees us as a people. Then we's free. We's free when Christ come. Hey, hey, didn't didn't the four fall on Sunday? It did. So imagine what the pastors in these churches was talking about. Oh, right. God. <laughs> they talking about the country. They love tunnels. Probably had a piece of you pork know in his back pocket. Ah, man. They love to make to say that you're un-American for not celebrating these uh, holidays. Right. You need to go back to where you came from. Well, where well, did they come from? Why they won't let us that's leave, a, though? That's a big question. Yeah, where did you, they come from? If you say, well, <laughs> go back to where you came from. Look, you ain't got look, no damn where to go. Now you got crickets. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> hey, you know, it's something they don't want to do. Matter of fact, I like that verse. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Because you never hear them to, when they talk about their history, they always start with what? Alexander the Greek? Yes. Mm-hmm. They start out with the slave ships. Yeah. And they, they say that's all y'all was born to do. Mm. This, is, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 7. Remember the days of old. Uh huh. Consider the years of many generations. So we supposed to remember the days of old. And you know what? The Bible is the history book that gives you the beginning of time. Right. So our history didn't start on them slave ships as they like to pretend, as if we didn't have a history before, you know, uh, the good ship Jesus. Mm-hmm. We have a rich history, and it's all written in the Bible. Read. That's right. Ask thy father, uh-huh. and he will show thee. He will do what? He will show thee. Hey, we love to say God is our father. But we won't seek out the word for him to show us. Nope. We'll go to our enemies. And celebrate 4th of July. We'll let them tell us our history and go celebrate their history. Right. Yeah. Their independence from their own people. Look, How is that? That's, that's a darn thing. <laughs> that don't even make no damn sense. How? Who does that? <laughs> but ain't, ain't like Passover our independence? Right. That was the greatest independence, the greatest deliverance. But most of our people don't even know about that. They day. have no clue. Don't even know what it's talking about. Don't know what it is. No nothing. It's sitting right in your Bible that's on your on your shelf. And go over there to your shelf. Take out your Bible. Blow the dust off of it. <laughs> right. That's what I about to say. Blow the dust. <laughs> blow the dust off of it. And look within these scriptures. And you'll find a lot of things that your pastor have not told you. Yeah. That's it. Hey, finish that verse out. Thy elders... And they will tell thee. Well, listen, I have two elders with me right now. Please tell me how. Please, look, look, look. Your elders to the people that's out there right now listening. <laughs> please tell them how we got over here and our, and our mode of our transportation. Dang, well, hey, there you go. You're on me, 28. You're 68. Bring it you, You're thinking that you're free and you're not free. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans Look, all of us live the curses in the Bible. That's how we know we're the Israelites, and we know what days we are supposed to do and celebrate because they're written in the Bible because it was written for us. But let's read how we got over here just so you ain't got no confusion on who in the world we talking about. Right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it said we're going to go into Egypt. said Lord did it. So what does the word Egypt mean? Let's get that. In Exodus 20 and 2. This is how you read the Bible. Yeah. Precept right. upon precept. This is how you read the Bible. You have to let the Bible explain itself. We don't need Negroes trying to explain. Look, that's around in the look, a pastor will say that, but then don't know what the heck to do. Right. Unbelievable. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Here's your meaning for Egypt. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Now here's the meaning. Read. Out of the house of bondage. So the word Egypt means house of bondage, slavery. Simply put, Egypt means slavery. So now let's read that again in Deuteronomy 28. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery. Again with ships. With ships. Uh-oh. That's easy. Easily understood, but you have our people with a simple mindset. Oh, no, this ain't talking <clears throat> about me. They'll mess around and say everybody did that. Right. Everybody went to slavery on slave ships. Point them out. Point them out then. <laughs> Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. It's going to happen how Moses said it was going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. And we ain't been back to our homeland as a nation. Look, black man, black woman, this is not your homeland here in America. So they, Celebrating they, 4th of July. So you're telling me that they can't be independent in a land that's not theirs? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nick, exactly. No. Exactly. How? So look, they in the same land, relying on the same people that brought them over here on the slave ships. So, so this was a curse God put on our people. Yes, exactly, exactly. How, was it a time limit, like seventeen seventy six? No, we gonna, we can get that too. We oh, gonna oh. jump and get it. Oh yeah, hey, fin finish that. Though. Yeah, we'll finish it. Then I I hand it over. Let's get it. And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when you get off the slave ship right here in America, Charleston, Mississippi, Florida. Puerto Rico, all of these different places, you were sold when you got off the slave ship. Read. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. And slave woman. And no man shall buy you. And they were buy you means redeem you. Everybody like to say Christ is our redeemer, but they go to the white man like he going to redeem them. Right. He oh. redeeming you for money. That's what he did. He sold your behind and made you work in the field. Now he makes money off you on a regular. Right. If you listen, if we got our independence, that means that our enemies redeemed us. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, what's what's even what's you about to pull something? I was I was gonna read the next verse just to find out who we okay, talking read about. That. Read, read that. Read the top of twenty nine and one. Deuteronomy chapter twenty nine and verse one. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. That's who we talking to. Uh oh. The children of Israel. This covenant and this this co the covenant, the curses was an agreement that we agreed to. Mm. Look, can if we, we don't keep the commandments, the Lord said, "I'm gonna put you in slavery." We agreed to that. Can we get verse forty-seven? Mm. Mm. The same one. No, twenty-eight, 28 forty-seven. Twenty-eight forty-seven. You yeah, you you in the spirit? You in the spirit? That's why I, that's why I was hidden. You in the spirit? You in the spirit? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Matter of fact, jump up to verse 46. Yeah. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. It's talking about the curses going to be upon us. For a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. No, to 1776. Forever. No, to 1776 because we got independence. Forever. No, 18, 1885. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Juneteenth. <laughs> Forever. So we are still under the curses. We're still under bondage. Right. And we're still in our enemy's hands. Yep. No independence. None right. whatsoever. None whatsoever. We're not free like it's 1999. <laughs> right. That song wasn't for us. <laughs> Here's the thing. Jump down to verse. <laughs> jump down to verse. Matter of fact, just read. Just read down. We we're gonna read down because what we have to understand, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out there, who are the children of Israel, who are the biblical Jews, is that these curses fell upon us, only us, and we are serving our time for disobeying our God. When you're serving time, you got to do exactly what the 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 op oppressor. Has lined up for you to do. That's why we work the fields. Now we're serving his holidays. This is where we learned these holidays. Remember, the brother just read that we came over here by way of slave ship and that these curses would follow us forever. Now read down. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So we weren't joyful to keep Passover. We weren't joyful to keep tabernacles, the Sabbath. We weren't joyful to keep the days that the Lord gave us. Read. For the abundance of all things. Come on. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God said, now that you don't want to keep my holidays, you don't want to keep the days that I set aside for you to keep, you're going to serve your enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. That he sent against us. Read. In hunger 
and in thirst. That means if you want food and water, you gonna get it from your enemies. So you telling me all that barbecue? All that barbecue that, that, that they that, barbecue that they bought. All, and that, all that water, they bought it from the enemy. They got that from their <laughs> oppressor, from their in the Bible. The, the, in, the, in fact, the Bible didn't say oppressor. It said what? Thine enemies. It said your enemies. Read. God said you got enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Come on. In hunger and in thirst. In hunger and in thirst. Come on. And in nakedness. You want clothing. You want food. You're going to get it from your enemies. Come on. And in want of all things. You want toothpaste, toothbrush, toilet paper. You're going to get that from your enemies. Come on. And he shall put a yoke. Uh, and, and what? And he. So this is a man. And he. See, we got to break these things down like this because Negroes, they think they phoneticians, but they not, they, they need hooked on phonics. We're going to give you the proper understanding of what the phonics of these scriptures are talking about. You need, you, you got to be broken down hey, look, to you. So they say they enemy is Satan. Yeah. yeah. There's this floating spirit out yeah, here, but yeah. we reading about a man. A is man. A nation. Says, and he, and he, come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron. Upon thy neck. Name another people that that happened to. Don't worry, we'll wait, but the show will be over with by the time you can say something. Come on. Until he have destroyed thee. That's the key word right there. Negroes will read past that. What is this? One, two, three, five little word. Until. The mm -hmm. Bible says that these yokes of iron will be upon your neck until what? Until he have destroyed thee. So in 1863 to 1865, whenever the Emancipation Proclamation was signed, and the yokes of iron came off of our neck, our hands, and our feet, what did that symbolize? Read that again. Until he have destroyed thee. That represented your destruction. We were destroyed. That's why the chains came off. Now, you don't know Passover. You don't know Sabbath. You don't know Tabernacles. But you know Fourth of July. Come on, people. We got to wake up. The Bible says until he has destroyed thee. And we are destroyed people. Right here running around with uh with American flags on our, <laughs> look, on our, look, on our head. Look, wearing, like, it looking like American flag. Man. They're in shirt. <laughs> Is the flag. But right. you know what? Our people might think maybe that's not talking about America. Uh -huh. Read the next verse. Uh -huh. <laughs> verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, uh -huh. from the end of the earth, uh -huh. as swift as the eagle flyeth. Uh -oh. As swift as the what? As swift as the eagle flyeth. That eagle, is that not the representation of America? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The representation look, look, of Rome, look, most of our Spain. People, look. Our people don't even know what we talking about just now. Right, Our right. People don't even know they, what we talking about. They what? like what well, the eagle, eagle. Hey, look, look, look. Is there a way? Look, while we going through this, can we get an image of America of the back of the dollar bill on the screen? Right, right. Just, just put it on there. You know, just put it up there because our people don't that, know. Put that on there. They, they like eagle. What is that? Yeah. Look, look. Thing is, they it's social studies in class in elementary. They teach you that's the sign of America. Yeah. Right. The bald eagle. You know who else talked about the bald eagle? Daniel. In yes, Daniel seven and seven. Let's get that. Uh oh. Because America is in the Bible, but you know your pastors won't go over this because you know why? The way it said we'll serve our enemies. Hey, our people don't even want to recognize that we have enemies. And that is why we miss these things that's in the Bible. They want to be mm. friends with everybody. Right. <laughs> Daniel chapter 7 and verse 7. After this, I saw in the night visions uh -huh. and behold a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. Right. And it had great iron teeth. Mm -hmm. It devoured and break in pieces. And stamped the residue with the feet of it. Read. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. This is talking about Rome. Mm -hmm. This is this beast right here we're talking about is Rome. Read. And it had ten horns. Now the ten horns represents the EU. Read the next verse. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them. Another little horn. Another little horn. That little horn, that would be America. America came out of Rome. Mm -hmm. This is talking about the Edomites. The so this is their biblical name, your Europeans. This is their biblical name, Edomites, Esau, the children of Esau. And this is what came up out of them. You had the ten horns representing the uh, EU, mm -hmm. and now you have that little horn representing America. Finish out the verse. Before whom there were three of the first horns. Now the three first, them three horns, that represents Spain, France, and Britain. Read. Plucked up by the roots uh -huh. 
And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man mm -hmm. and a mouth speaking great things. Now, that what happened now, speaking that great things, that's speaking great lies against the Bible. Right. Speaking great mm -hmm. lies against the children of Israel. Speaking great lies against our, our, our king, Christ, mm -hmm. where they made him white. It. They made him white. And, and, and just to go a little more in there, let's get 2 Ezra uh, chapter 12, verse 10. Yeah. Let's get that thing. Cause that, and that because in Daniel, it doesn't necessarily give you the name of that beast. Right. But in the Apocrypha, that they, look, that they took out of the Bible. Right. So that you wouldn't even know what this is talking about. We have it. And we're going to prove it to you. <laughs> Bring that up. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 12 and verse 10. And he said unto me, this is the interpretation of the dream. Great. The eagle whom thou sawest come up from the sea is the kingdom which was seen in the vision of thy brother Daniel. That, and, uh -oh. guess who, and guess who symbol Wait, but they the tell eagle. you They tell you the apocrypha ain't canon, but this just uh -oh. referenced Daniel? Right. It did. That's, what I, that's my point. That's my point. Now, if you see right here we on the screen, here is your dollar bill. All yeah. y'all, you got a dollar bill out there. Some of y'all don't get but two dollars in church anyway. Y'all, you know it. All right? You don't get but two dollars. <laughs> Look on the back of your dollar bill. Look on the back of your dollar bill, and you're gonna see here this eagle. Mm -hmm. This eagle is the same eagle that represents what Rome, mm -hmm. Spain, mm -hmm. all of the nations that Britain. came against us. Right. Had the same. They all referenced the eagle. The Bible is showing you who your enemy is when we go back to Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. That is what is happening here. Read verse 12. Verse 12. But it was not expounded unto him. Uh -huh. Therefore now I declare it unto thee. Read. Behold, the days will come that there shall rise up a kingdom upon the earth. Uh -huh. And it shall be feared above all the kingdoms that were before it. Now America is that kingdom that's feared above all the nations of the earth. Right. right? Because this kingdom is the only one that dropped atomic bombs on another nation. This kingdom rules all nations, make right. all the laws, right. wage all the wars. Set up government anywhere they want to. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if they don't follow, they shut the country down. Watch this. Jump over to uh, verse uh, chapter 11, verse, uh, we'll start at verse 40. Second Ezra chapter 11 and verse 40. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past uh -huh. and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. With what? Much wicked oppression. Guess what? 400 years of slavery is much wicked oppression. That's your slave men and your slave women right there in yep. Deuteronomy. Hey, this, this nation has conquered the whole world, took lands, you know, oppressed the whole man's heritage yep. with much wicked oppression. Finish that out. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth uh -huh. with deceit. With what? Deceit. With what? Deceit. Ah, history. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> they say, look, look, our independence from Great Britain is over here in America. Mind you, wasn't, wasn't the Native Americans here first? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. So they stole the land. Stole the land, claimed it. And claimed it. And then turned around and created a holiday behind it. Freeing themselves from themselves. <laughs> but now, Britain from America. The same people. You know, what's crazy is now that we've established that this country is America, who is also known as Babylon the Great in the Bible, yep. you have to understand now, now that you see the history lining up of how you got here on slave ship, how you had to serve with rigor in, uh, in slavery, and over the years you have acquired and learned to do the things that America has taught you to do, now that you know that, what should you do? Hey, before you even go into that, I just want to bring out the, uh, this next verse because, look, it's just going to pinpoint it a little bit more because, you know, the same people that came and stole this land is the same people that was at peace with them, the same people <laughs> right. that helped them survive the, a winter where they would have been wiped out. Read it out. Read that. Verse 41. For the earth hath not judged with truth. Oh, we know they don't judge with truth. Cause I, I, the jails is filled with our people. And they're based right. off of what? Deceit. With right. Lies. With, with um, what's the word? Oppression. Mm -hmm. Read. For thou, hast, for thou hast afflicted the meek. Uh -huh. Thou hast hurt the peaceable. They did what? 
Hurt the peaceable. Well, our people are known to be peaceable people. We ain't seeking war. We love to seek peace. Yeah. That's why we don't recognize that they're the enemy right now. Exactly. Yeah. That's why they want to be friends. Mm-hmm. With everybody. We don't want. We don't want no problems. Let's just. We can be cool. Right. Come Three. on now, dog. <laughs> Thou hast loved liars. What? Thou hast loved the liars. <laughs> That's the only way you get love from this place. <coughs> right. And they don't love you, really. They really still hate you, but they'll tolerate you if you're loving the lies that they... If you want to push their lies, you can be on their news. Right. <laughs> you want to push their lies, you can be on their TV. Mm-hmm. But you don't push their lies, you go nowhere. Right. And they you- don't. They try to excommunicate you and separate you from everything and everybody and mm. take your money and everything else. The oppression has been so deep to our people push and they love the lies without even knowing that they push they push these lies and love yeah. these lies. The oppression is so heavy to whereas you go to the neighborhood on the 4th of July and the whole family got on American flag <laughs> right. clothing, bro. Like, what the hell? <laughs> bro, watch this. Read the next part. And destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit. Mm-hmm. And has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Let me ask y'all one question: What happened to the Native American Indians? Where their homes at? They, they on reservations, reservations now. Exactly. <laughs> they they exactly. on something worse than ghettos. Man, yeah. they in the reservations. They in the- look even on the reservation now. Ain't Esau is in there claiming to be them too. Exactly. Right. Drinking all the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Stop it. <laughs> hey, these people are wicked. They're wicked. And, and guess what? God said they was wicked. That's it. We didn't say it. Give, hey, give us Job 9 and 24. We, we didn't say it. We're just reading the Bible. That's all we do. We read the Bible and we give you the understanding. This is the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is what? Given into the hand of the wicked. Uh-huh. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He do what? Covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because the last thing I know that the main judge of this earth was a black man with the natural, beautiful, woolly hair. And somehow he came out looking like Charles Manson, looking like a hippie. (laughs) How did that happen? So you mean to tell me he went from looking like you? Uh Right. (laughs) He went from looking like you? (laughs) Well, looking like you to Charles Manson? Right. Right. (laughs) Something ain't right here. Something ain't right. But our people don't. Our people can't see it. Nope. They can't. They cannot see. They don't. You know what? They can see it, but they're like, close my eyes. I don't want to see that. Right. Don't tell me that. That's what we're talking about in Isaiah. Yeah. Teach. Don't talk. Don't tell us the truth. Tell us the lies. We love the lies, like we just you read. Right. No. That's what we just read. We love the lies. I don't want to hear nothing about slavery. That was four hundred years ago. Well, we've established the fact that this is America, and that the work, the earth, is given into the hands of the wicked. Now, let's get Proverbs 3 and 31. Since the world is given into the hands of the wicked. The wicked are the, is the same man who has oppressed you, the same man who stole your nationality, the same man that is giving you their holidays to celebrate instead of the holidays of God. But let's find out what God says. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Come on. Envy thou not the oppressor. Who is the oppressor? We just read the, who the oppressor is back in from Deuteronomy to Ezra. Uh, we've been reading about the oppressor for the last five minutes. God said what? Envy thou not the oppressor. Envy thou not America. Come on. And choose none of his ways. Choose none of the ways of America. Put down the ways that you've learned in America and come back to this holy Bible. Read. For the forward is ab- ab- abomination to the Lord. God said they are an abomination. We must realize that we have been following an abominable people. And when we follow an abominable people, what did that make us? Mm. <laughs> Worse than them. Worse. We're abominable. <laughs> right. You got to come up out of that filth. America is filth. That is what the 4th of July is. It is filth. Mm. Hey, you know what? We're going to take a break. We're going to go check out some of these smooth sounds of original royalty all right we got uh hey that's the brother right there that's uh officer l k9 yeah are you i see atlanta oh, well, crazy. riverdale 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 riverdale, <laughs> riverdale, riverdale. <laughs> let's go run that
Hey, hello. Ken Fogg, what's good with you, boy? It's been a minute. Yeah, man, what's good with you? Long time no speak to us. Yeah, man, we ain't heard much from you since you got with them dudes in that purple. So yeah, that? man, I know, man. I've been telling y'all you need to check it out, man. The so-called blacks nah. and Spanish native Indians, man. We the Israelites according to the Bible. Man, I don't know about all of that, man. Hey, look, y'all can do what y'all do, man, but, uh, it's just me. I know God's law, it's just me, it's just me, who I am, who I am. Bring it out, bring it out, I Lord, make the time short like a dwarf's watch Tryna make it back home, no short stop Purple rain, purple rain, homie, drip, drop It's just me, you hear me? You got eyes to see, you see me? <laughs> Your brother LK9 It's just me, it's just me I know God's law, it's just me, it's just me who I am, who I am, who I be, who I be. I love Christ too, too. John 14, John 14, verse 15, verse 15. This is me, this is me. I you I see, see in these streets, in these streets. Where you be at, where you be at? This is me, this is me. And we cry aloud when we teach, when we teach. Blood is true, blood is true. This is me, 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 this is me. I love God's law, law. This is me. I don't print a, what I send a, to be right here where I'm in at, to this den a, why speak is thou in parables, make it plain a, cause I don't want no either midnight to remain a, overdive, eight ten a, after a thought out, years, that's my slin a, hallelujah, for that den a, just repent man, endure to the in a, I don't do this for anybody else, man. I do this for me. Because I want to keep God's laws in Christ, man. But y'all, that's just me. I love God's laws. It's just me. It's just me. Who I am. Who I be. Who I be. I love Christ too. John 14. John 14. Verse 15. Verse 15. That's just me. It's just me. I you got seats in these streets. In these streets. Where you be at? This is me, this is me, and we cry aloud when we teach, when we teach. Blood is true, blood is true. This is me, 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 this is me. I love God's law. This is me, 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 this is me. I love Christ too. This is me, this is me. Know ye not your own self? I've been wanting this. To live how they live, to dress how they dress I needed somebody to guide me, I can't even flex I read this Bible four times and didn't get it yet The most I let me see, the truth shall make you free And then I you I see, it took six years for me It was 2009 to 2015 When I left the world behind, like Christ said, follow me It's just me. It's just me.
Hey, welcome back to Wartime Radio. That was Officer LK9. That's just me. Hey, that's just me. Hey, it was good to see that brother and all those uh, soldiers who showed up this past week in St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? And right. hey, we had to go to war. Hey, matter of fact, I want to just pull out a verse for all them brothers that was there, man. We was like almost a thousand deep. That's just me. Going up there to support our brothers because, hey, we can never forget this is spiritual warfare. Right. Give me uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 1, verse 7. Bring it out. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, Read. but of power. But of what? But of power. Read. And of love. Uh-huh. And of a sound mind. Yeah, yeah. We just want you to know that, hey, when you come against one and Israel united in Christ, you come against all. Right. That's right. Say, so I like to say, I like to give a shout to all the brothers, all the men who went to war this week. All praises for that. Hey, and the reason why we had to go out, because you know what? We still have to remember we're in captivity. And just like we have wicked enemies of the other nations, we got wicked enemies of our own people. Right. Who still love this wicked nation. Right. Hey, let's Ooh. give me a Baruch 3 and 8. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are what? We are yet this day in our captivity. So we're still slaves right here in America. Right. So wait a minute. <laughs> you mean Look. to tell me 1776, mm -hmm. Independence Day ain't ours? Mm -hmm. Neither 1865? Mm -hmm. Nope. Neither 2021? Like Come on said, now. Nope. <laughs> Hey, we are still. Where black people get this from? You know what? They've been trusting. They friendly me. neighborhood white men. Oh, yes, it is. Hey, you know what? They say they trust in the Lord. Let's see if they trust in the Lord. Read it one more time. <laughs> Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Trust in the word of the Lord. That's what God said. He never lied. Read. Where thou hast scattered us. And we've been scattered. Read. For a reproach. For a what? A reproach. Read. And a curse. And a what? And a curse. We're still under those curses, and those curses was captivity. Read. And to be subject to payments. Be subject to what? To payments. Hey, I'm pretty sure every one of you who worked for a living, shit, check came up short. <laughs> Taxes like a mug. And you know what? They took the short check. And went to the firecracker stand. <laughs> Dang. You look big... to do something ain't got nothing to do with them. No. <laughs> right. It's for the kids. You liar. Mm. Hey, and you know what? Um, our people are celebrating this holiday this weekend. And, you know, we under these curses. Mm -hmm. Judgment comes down on our people for constantly breaking God's laws. Let's read the article this week. What happened into our friendly right. neighborhood of Chicago? Yeah, the city of brotherly love. It, it ain't. It, it, it ain't. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's Philly. That's hey. Philly, ain't it? Yeah, yeah that's I, Philly. All the brothers there, you think we'll be brotherly love? <laughs> 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 you would think so. But let's find out what actually happened this week in Chicago. Chicago's most violent weekend of 2021. 92 shot, 16 killed, six kids among the wounded. They were shot with firecrackers. Come on, man. No. In one weekend. Right. 92 people shot in one weekend. Bruh. And that 16 kill might go up because depending on what the wounds are. Mm. You know what I mean? Hold on. Wait a minute. Freedom. We, you should, if, if the freedom meant that much to you, if freedom meant that much to black people, let's say they were free. Why do we have a weekend full of shots going off in yeah. our own communities? Hitting innocent children. That's pure hatred. Right. You shouldn't be free. You should be locked the hell up. Yeah, it is. Mm. Look, 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 look. Now you're going to need security after that. You're going to need security because you you say that how people think, oh, no, snitches get stitches. Well, guess what? What? You know, you like you said, you should be locked up. should be locked up. up. That's it. This is the reason why we have to have the other nations police our neighborhoods, man, mm -hmm. because we cannot dwell amongst each other Without killing each other, mm -hmm. you're celebrating freedom, but you're around here. Yeah, y'all, y'all are backwards as hell. Hey, finish reading that uh, some of that article. In the deadliest and most violent weekend this year in Chicago, 
92 people have been shot over the long 4th of July weekend. Six of them, 16 of them killed. Among the 76 wounded were six children and teenagers and two Chicago police supervisors. Five of the kids were shot within nine hours Sunday evening through early Monday. Yeah, I, I see how people don't think that God brings judgment for breaking his uh, laws. He told us don't follow these other nations. He said don't envy your oppress and choose none of their ways. Yeah. And I guarantee you almost all those victims were somehow celebrating the 4th of July. Yeah. If it wasn't directly shooting fireworks, barbecuing. Oh, they definitely know, was barbecuing. And block yeah. parties. Yeah. <laughs> Black people got to barbecue. They don't give a damn. They're going to barbecue. Right, right. <laughs> we, hey, we, we use any excuse to do what? You know, to go have a good time, to go party. Yeah. To be evil. To they, be did evil. The, they did the same thing in Long Island in New York. Mm. Same exact thing. Black people don't know how to celebrate because they don't know how to love one another. You know what? And because they don't know party. they don't know what to celebrate. But when you tell them, look, you got you got fifty two Sabbaths. Yeah. Or you right. got you got one you got one day of the week, which is the Lord's high holy day on the Sabbath. You get fifty two of them. You get four Sabbaths plus a new moon. You get at least five times. To, in a month to get right, have a good time amongst your own people. Yeah. We do it every single month. And how many times have there been a shooting? Not nan time. <laughs> Not nan time. Any fights? <laughs> no. Not nan one. No, no arguments. Not no. nan one. Because I haven't seen one. And the whole time I've ever been in the truth. You know what? Because 4th of July does not say serve the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. 4th yep. of July says get you some fireworks, get you some liquor, yeah, and load the guns up. feasting and all that stuff. <laughs> load the guns scoop. up. You know, we, need some more on that? We gonna, we, we gonna ride on these Negroes tonight. You know, they cooking over there on their grill. Y'all got a script? I got a script. You, you was doing the article? No, go ahead. You was going back to the article? We good. No, nah, we good on that. All right, let's go to Ecclesiastes 7. Yeah, it is. Ecclesiastes 7. Let's go to verse 2. Yeah. Hey, this, this, our, our people have, hey, man, y'all are bugged out following these vain days for no reason. <laughs> Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning Read. than to go to the house of feasting. God said it is better for us to be in mourning than to go into the house of feasting. Because you don't sit up here and don't forget what in the world you in. That's why you don't know you in captivity no more. That's why the most I have to have judgment because you don't forget that you won't even wake up. So read on. Let's see. For that is the end of all men. Uh-huh. And the living will lay it to his heart. Because that's what's going to happen. You will mess around and be celebrating these false days. And you're going to forget why you were put in captivity in the first place, which was to repent. Read on. Sorrow is better than laughter. Uh-huh. For by the sadness of the countenance of the heart is made better. Read. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Because we are in mourning. As right. a people, we are not we, we are not in this captivity and celebrating and feasting on their days like that's a part of us. Right. Like you got anything to do. We in slavery still. What are you happy about in this slavery doing what your slave master told you to do? Right. That's not supposed to be happy for you to follow their ways. Read. But the heart of fools the heart of the heart of fools is in what? Is in the house of mirth. You celebrating Fourth of Jew lies. There's a lot of fools out there. Just read that? is, That's what y'all are doing. <coughs> read on. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise. Hey, look, look, it's better for y'all to hear from us because y'all know y'all don't want to hear it from us, but we're going to tell you anyway because that's our job as the watchman. Read on. Then for a man to hear the song of fools. Y'all sitting here listening to the rap music and dumb stuff on these high holy. On, well, look, y'all evil days. Uh huh. You know, look, look, I don't, I don't even celebrate them so much. I get tongue to it. It's kind of hard for me to even say mm -hmm. thing. But that's what our people is caught up into. It's better for y'all to hear the correction from us than to hear these dumb songs, these dumb rappers rap about this stuff. Y'all in the neighborhood grilling and stuff. Now you end up shooting up the neighborhood. Read. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot. Read. So is the laughter of the fool. Uh-huh. This also is vanity. Because you sitting up here laughing at nothing. <laughs> Celebrating stuff that have nothing to do with you, and God calls you a fool for it. Is that it? Uh, let me see. Yeah, it, oh, we good right there. Matter of fact, no, read on seven. Seven. Get out of the way. Verse seven. Yeah. 
Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Because we, it says surely oppression. Remember, I was already read. We are in oppression. Right. It said oppression makes a wise man mad. You're not supposed to be happy to follow the oppressor's days. So you telling me that all these 55, <laughs> 60, 70 year old men out here celebrating the yeah. 4th of July are not wise men? No. God said Y'all are fools. The pastor in the church is not a wise man. He's a fool. Because he was eating barbecue chicken yesterday, too. He's a fool. That's what God said. Look, we ain't calling people names. God called you a name. You can, you can get mad at God. Box with him. But John's too short. Read on. <laughs> and a gift destroyeth the heart. Look, they gave you Juneteenth and 4th of July and said, look, you can celebrate it with us. Dummies. We're equal now. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But you get shot down in the street for uh, going in the store picking blonde hair. Hey, you're talking about the people that's acting foolish. Jump down to verse 9. <laughs> verse 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. Uh huh. For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Mm, and what happens? You have all those deaths, all those shootings, now you all those shootouts. Right. And you in know the what? midst of celebrating, look, supposed to be celebrating right. freedom. Hey, listen, like you said, that, if you're so, if it meant so much to you, how you end up shooting all these people? Just Come think on about, now, just think about this. We, our people have taken on the spirit of their oppressor. Yeah. Think about it. Our oppressor are murderous, uh, 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 vile individuals. They don't care nothing about life. And they have embedded that within us. That's why we easily shoot down each other. And don't they only say the oppressor, they, they disregard the young and the old. The, the young. Then you get darn children. Getting shot. Exactly. With That's straight bullets. And they don't care that the child's standing. I'm trying to hit them. You in my way. You got to get mowed down too so I can too. hit them. You get That's shot That's crazy. Too. You about to pull something? Yeah. I actually wanted to pull a verse um, showing you that's still part of the curse. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 54. There you go. I want to just keep showing you that, hey, these curses are still amongst our people because we've forsaken the laws of God. For, the, for us to reverse this, what's going on, I have to come back to God. I'm gonna have to return back to Him. I'm gonna have to forsake these holidays. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. His eyes shall be what? Evil towards his brother. Read. And toward the wife of his bosom. Read. And toward the remnant of his children. Well, well let me ask you one thing mm -hmm. who's left? <laughs> <laughs> Who do we not hate? We hate right. each other. We hate we hate our brothers, we hate our wives, we hate our children. Mm -hmm. And that's what you see happen. Women, brothers, children getting shot, getting killed this hey, week. You know what? Our people are so bugged out. They going to the cookout at on the fourth of July talking about I hope Tommy ain't there. Well if Tommy there, his cousin. Well if Tommy there, you know Tommy gonna get it running that mile. I'm 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 going in on him. They already talking about Look, hurting each they, other they on the way with, to with the, the dang on thing. With the intent. And you know you're doing it. Being like, hey, we came out of this lifestyle. We know what time it is. That's how a lot of shootings take place. That's how a lot of arguing and fighting take place yeah. in families. That's you're it. getting together and you like, you know, uh, Tommy, as soon as he get on that oil, he's going to start running his mouth. I'm going in his mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm going in his mouth. Now, that's hatred. Right, right. That's hatred. Hey, yeah, you know something about this right here. Like no, this ain't nothing new. These things are prophesied yeah. about the wickedness of our people. Right. Hey, give me Deuteronomy chapter thirty-one, verse twenty-seven. Because you know, let's go thousands of years back. Because Moses saw these things. He saw the end of our people. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse 37, 27. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Uh huh. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against the Lord. Read. And how much more after my death? He said, how Dang. much more wicked are uh. you going to be after I'm gone? <laughs> after he dead and gone, y'all right. going to be way worse because I'm here and y'all bad. Man, hey, I, I'm going to tell you right now, we as the <laughs> prophets, we here to witness and testify that y'all are way worse than any of our forefathers. Hey, watch this right here. Let me get, uh, <laughs> let me get Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1 real quick. Then I'm going to jump. <laughs> hey, you on point. Hey, it's a spirit behind what we're bringing out right now. Because I'm telling you, my Bible over here, I'm throwing gang signs in my Bible right now. <laughs> man, I got fingers everywhere, bro. Look, Mark, look, look, I won't pull that, won't pull that. Right. Hey, read that real quick. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. 
Woe to the rebellious children. You're talking about you same blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans that want to break God's holidays mm -hmm. and celebrate the days of your oppressor. Come on. Saith the Lord uh -huh. that take counsel, but not of me. God says you take counsel, but it's not the counsel of him, which is according to his laws, statutes, and commandments. You take counsel from your oppressor, who is the so-called white man. Read. Mm -hmm. And that cover with a covering. You cover with a covering, come on. But not of my spirit. The covering that you're covering yourself with is not of the spirit of the Lord. It's of the devil. Mm -hmm. That's who you're covering. That's what you're, you're trying to cover up the wickedness with more wickedness. Read on. That they may add sin to sin. That they may do what? Add sin to sin. That they may add sin to sin. God says you are rebellious people. Read on. That walk to go down into Egypt. We identified Egypt earlier when you read Exodus chapter uh, 20 and verse 2. Come on. And have not asked at my mouth. God said you, 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 you did not ask him to go down into Egypt because he would have told you, hey, listen, you're going you're gonna to learn some wicked ways in Egypt. We have learned all type of wicked ways in this Egypt, this, this bondage, this captivity that we've been suffering in. Come on. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. The strength of Pharaoh is talking about this country. Pharaoh is America. Your good old America, your good old United Snakes of America. Come they on. love the American dream. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Read on. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. The shadow of Egypt that you trust in is the 4th of July, the fake independence day. You was not free, Negro. You were in the cotton field. Now jump over to verse oh, 8. Hold on, read the next verse. Okay, please. okay. Yeah, read that too. Verse 3. I didn't want to be long-winded, but go ahead, read that. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Well, dang. <laughs> God says because you trust in America... It's gonna put you to shame. Now you taking on that spirit. Now you now you celebrating hey. July that has nothing to do with you and you ain't got a damn thing. And, and look, and you think you you the nations look at you and respect you. No, they looking at you laughing because they cannot believe you are so simple. Hey, right. they took your brother, they took your brother Jesus Christ and made him white and gave him back to you. And you know what? You said, Thank you, Mr. White Man. And look, I and never it. questioned it either. And and top it off. They know you in slavery. Right. And they looking at you with amazement that you're sitting there celebrating your independence. Right, right. That's that's hey, what I'm saying. That's, the that's a shame. They're thing. sitting back looking like that's the game. astonishment. Right. Right. Never figure it out. <laughs> you celebrating your independence when you're dependent on your enemy in the want of all things. Hey, right. listen. Bro, how many of them are still waiting? I heard a new saying. Well, not new, not new saying, but I heard Jake talking about last week. Mm -hmm. There's another stimulus check coming out. Y'all heard about that new stimulus check? <laughs> That's how you know you're dependent. You want another dang on? You didn't have how many of them gave them? Three, four. Look, right. look, hey, look, look. Just so y'all, hey, look, man. That that's that's because our people are relying on them, but then they turn around and say we're free. Right, right. No, you are dependent. Mm -hmm. You're still dependent. But because you're rebellious. Hey, read that last part. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. <laughs> Not confused as hell. Ask them, what's your nationality? Oh, I'm black. I'm black. <laughs> African American. <laughs> I'm African -American. Mexican. Right. Wait, I'm, I'm Asiatic black man. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> supreme, <laughs> supreme being. <laughs> hey, jump down to verse eight and dying real quick. Read that. Verse 8, uh -huh. now go, write it before them in a table. Hey, God said you got to write this down because these are some rebellious children. Write this down so that it can be set, serve as a reminder to them. Read. And note it in a book. He said put, you got to put this in a book. The Negro is a made man in America. Read. That it may be for the time to come. So in these times, you got us on wartime radio saying, bruh, wake the hell up. Come out of America. Read on. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Come Read. That this is a rebellious people. These people rebellious as hell. Come on. Lying children. What? Lying children. God says you a liar. Read. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. The law is telling you to keep Sabbath, Passover. Keep the high holidays God gave you. Tabernacles. Those are good. You have no idea. I can't wait to tabernacle. What? Y'all have no idea what y'all missing with this foolishness in America. Read. Yeah, boy. Which say to the seers, see not. Oh, no, no, y'all. We the seers. Don't see, don't see our wickedness in mm -hmm. Fourth of July. Read. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. We don't want to hear the right things about the Sabbath and Passover. We want to hear the Fourth of July. Come on. Speak unto us smooth things. Uh-huh. Prophesy deceit. They want the lies. Therefore, right. you have Fourth of July. 
lie. Mm. Hey, but you know what? We got Christ, and Christ is going to tell you how you can get free. Right. <laughs> hey, let's get uh, Matthew 17, verse 24. Bring it out. Good old Jesus. He ain't never forsake us. <laughs> if we only trust in him as much as we say, trust right. in the word of God Good. as much as we say, and stop trusting our oppressor, we might get free. First thing they're going to ask you, what book that is? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Read that. Matthew chapter 17, verse 24. Read it out. And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter and said, Doth not your master pay tribute? Don't your master pay taxes? Mm -hmm. Read. He saith, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children? Or of strangers. He said, who do they uh, take taxes from? Are right. they taking it from their children? Or are they taking it from strangers? Read. Mm -hmm. Peter saith unto him, of strangers. Uh huh. Jesus saith unto him, then are the children free. Guess what? Your children free when they stop paying taxes. That is. <laughs> your, hey, your people free when they stop paying taxes to these other nations. Right. When you have your own land, your own government, your own laws, and you're worshiping your God. Because understand something, your God is the God of Israel and Israel only. Right. So, so you wants to be free? Guess what? Those that want to be free, you know what we do? We seek a land that's ours. Let's get that in. Uh, let me see. Hebrews. Give me Hebrews eleven to thirteen. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter eleven and verse thirteen. These all died in faith, uh -huh. not having received the promises, Great. but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. <laughs> what are we? Pilgrims and strangers on the earth. That's what we are right now because yep. this is not our homeland. That's it. Read. For they, say, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. We do what? Seek a country. We want our own homeland. Seek a country. We want our own homeland. We are sick and tired of being in captivity. Right. We sick are and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah, we sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, if you want your own land, your own country, you must come back to God's laws. That's right. That's, That's when you right. will be free. Right. That's when you're going to come out of captivity. We all work from Romo Strip? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get uh, Revelations 18 and 4. <clears throat> Revelations 18 and verse 4 real quick. Because all of this has to serve as a, 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 a as a light bulb in your head so that you can line up what we're saying with the scriptures. Look at history and parallel it with the scriptures and see who is telling the truth according to the Bible and how will your salvation come. Bring it out. Read that. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Come on. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. Come out of who? Come we out of her. Come out of America, Babylon the Great, as we have been saying since the beginning of the show. Come out of her philosophies, her holidays, her traditions. Come out of her. Come on. My people. God's people, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. So that you're not partakers of her sin. Fourth of July is, is a sin. sin. Right. Christmas is a sin. <laughs> Thanksgiving is a sin. All of these, your birthday is a sin. All of these days that you reverence are sins. Come on. And that you receive not of her plagues. Because America is going to be destroyed. And if you stay in that sin, then guess what? If you stay in America's ways, you're going to be destroyed right along with it. Oh. Boom. Hey, all praises. <laughs> hey, you know what? This has been wartime radio. You got the frontline soldiers out here, and you know what? We're going to war to bring down these lies. And today, we destroyed the 4th of July. Right. Hey, with that, I got my man on the left. Officer Kalaya. My man on the right. Officer Aton. Hey, this has been Wartime Radio, WPJM 800. Hey, we'd like to say shalom, most high in Christ bless. Shalom, most shalom. high in Christ bless. Christ bless. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. Follow us on all social media platforms at IUIC Columbia, South Carolina. Join our congregation every Saturday at 4 p.m. Located at 1823 Greg Street, Columbia, South Carolina.
For more information, call us at 803-708-4861 at extension 237. Share our show with your friends and family. And thank you again for tuning in to Wartime Radio Show. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.